welcome back to the channel thank you this time it's been only like two weeks in between uploads not two months so you know feels great i wasn't really sure what content to make you guys had my back you wanted more movement content more movement tutorials so here we go i have been trying my best to get the quality of these videos to be as good as possible and your help to do it if you could let me know in the comments what you like and dislike by those i can try to fix that and make the content more enjoyable for all of us so thank you and let's get on with the video. In this video I'm going to show you some basic movements that anyone can master that win you fights. For the purpose of this video I'm not going to go into any more advanced movements, it's going to be the most basic stuff. If you enjoy movement then you probably know some of those, but still stick around and you might find out more. There are going to be a few things you need to do first before you can start learning movement. And that is go into settings and make sure you enable some binds. Now the most common and used binds are going to be on your scroll wheel as it allows you to input a lot of actions in a repeated fashion without having to spam your keyboard like a machine. So if you switch your guns using your scroll wheel, you're going to have to learn a different way. Just go with 1 and 2 for switching between the first and second weapon. And then after a few days, maybe a week, you're gonna get used to it and it's gonna be like second nature to you while being able to learn movement with your scroll wheel. All right, so you got your settings done. What now? You're ready to start learning movement. Well, there are some few things you should learn before you move on. Some movements that are just so basic and essential, they're not even considered movements at this point. This would include slide jumping, climbing, and mounting. I'm gonna quickly show you exactly what those are and how to practice them. Well, since movement is all about speed, essentially, it would be really useful to know how fast you're going, but then, you know, it would be kind of weird to have a racing speedometer in a shooter game to show you how fast you're moving. Well, there is an option to enable that through some settings. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can either paste this command into your uh, Steam launch options or into your auto exec, depending which one you already know how to do. I'm just going to show you the command on the screen and then you can find a way to do it yourself. As you can currently see on the screen, it, the marker named VEL for velocity is going to show your speed. Now your sprinting speed is 299. When you slide, it goes all the way to 450. Now that's insane gain. And then you can see after you jump, you don't really lose that. The window to do that is pretty big, but it is, you can mess it up. If you uh, jump too early, you don't get the full momentum boost from sliding. And if you slide too late, then you don't get, uh, you already start to lose some momentum and you don't carry it over so it cancels out. And then pretty easy, climbing is just climbing a wall and mantling is climbing the wall but not fully where you hang on the ledge. So with that out of the way, let's move on to our first movement tech, tap strafing. So what is tap strafing? Tap strafing is just spamming your forward input, that's gonna be W, usually on mouse and keyboard, that we bound previously to mouse scroll wheel up. So that allows us to redirect mid-air. That's how Apex Movement Engine works. After your feet leave the ground, you have a small period of time where you can just turn without losing any of your speed and your momentum. So you can just turn your mouse while scrolling up and it's gonna turn your character. Now that's pretty good, but it requires a decently high sensitivity to do a quick turn just like that and then decent awareness so you don't lose track of your opponent. So overall, I don't think it's that useful. However, tap strafing has a great property that just, this is how everyone uses it. If you combine it with a sideways input, then you can redirect yourself to left or right without moving your mouse whatsoever. So you can keep track of your target while just doing these crazy moves. So by simply holding D or A when scrolling up, you're just gonna go on a 45 degree angle. Now, if you work in a backwards input, you're gonna go on a 90 degree angle. That's a full 90 degree, degree turn while keeping all of your speed. So that would be physically impossible without this movement deck, right? Because you're gonna get the full sprinting or slide jumping speed, that's 400 movement speed, your movement tracker up top. And you can do that side to side with the top stripping. That's absolutely insane. And it allows you to juke out your opponents super easily. Now, moving on to the second movement tech of today's video is going to be none other than B-hopping or also known as bunny hopping. 
Now, it's basically spamming a jump input while crouching, which allows you to maintain a small hitbox and a full movement speed while performing actions that would normally slow you down in game. In order to perform a bunny hop in Apex Legends, you need to have some initial momentum. Slide jumping is perfect for this. So before you start p-hopping, just go forward, slide jump, and then mid-air, hold crouch, and start scrolling down. Now, in order to keep full momentum while doing it, you actually need to let go of W. It's a little counterintuitive, but let go of W, or if you're b-hopping backwards, way more advanced, let go of S or backwards. This allows you to keep all your momentum. If you don't want to lose momentum slowly over time, then you should input A or D for sideways inputs like I'm showing on the screen a second ago. Then you can work in top strafing. This would allow you to make way sharper turns than without it and basically makes uh, b-hopping a powerful strafing up close tech. Another awesome use for bunny hopping is bunny hop healing. That allows you to maintain full sprint speed depending if you're using a uh, character with a speed boost and ultimate or not. So a normal healing speed is about 100. If you're B hopping without a speed boost, it's going to be 150. That's already over a 50% uh, speed increase. If you use a stim, you can go over 300 speed while B hop healing. Now, that is faster than sprinting without a gun with a regular character. That's absolutely nuts. And now for the next movement tag, none other than wall jumping, the absolute bread and butter of any Apex movement montage you will ever see. So the very basic is just uh, sprint in the wall, slide jump, and then just scroll to jump off the wall. Now that's pretty useless, let's be honest, there's really no application to this. However, you can tap strafe into the wall before wall jump. This allows you to wall jump off of anything, basically, no matter like your trajectory with relation to the wall. That's amazing. It is great for traversing the map. Then you can also tap strafe after wall jumping. So you keep going in a straight line. As you saw, it is faster than just running. It is also great to just skip climbing different places. When you're climbing, you're super easy to hit. When you're wall jumping, not so much. This is my favorite usage in fights. Basically, if you go for a wall jump without sliding, you have to make sure that you're already falling down when you hit the wall and you're holding A or D input. And then of course we can work in our bunny hop, tap strafing, all the good stuff. Basically the best movement I've ever. And now I have some examples of me using those movements in game and they actually do work on enemies, so enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn more movement tags i have a lot of tutorials on my channel and there's so many awesome people that i'm going to link down in the description and also make amazing movement tutorials and if you don't want to put in countless hours learning all of those new and super advanced movement tags you can get a cfg for those that allows you to do any movement with just your scroll wheel down in the description below and with that out of the way thank you so much for watching peace out and see you in the next one